Today we're going to be targeting an expired listing to try to pull off a burr. Ryan, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'll be your host and my longtime viewers, my longtime followers on Holton Wise TV know the MLS Search and Analysis Show is the show where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. You work with me and my team, and we try to help you build, start, or grow your rental portfolio. And the guy I'm working with today is my man, Ryan. Ryan, you have $50,000. Now, me and you, we've uh, done a couple videos together. Those deals didn't pan out. But you're trying to do bird deals, brother, and your budget, your budget's on the low end. Okay, dog? You got not a lot of coin. Don't think, guys, that uh, if you only have 50 Gs, we can't do stuff. We can. Um, especially if you want to use financing right off the rip, right? Like if you want to buy a $100,000 house, you only need $25,000 in cash. If you want to buy a $50,000 house, you only need $12,500. So $50,000 is actually a very huge budget in the Cleveland market if you're going the traditional financing route. You know, typically we'd be targeting properties with tenants that are in pretty decent shape. My dude Ryan, though, he's doing a little different. He wants to do a burr. He wants to get some value because he wants to have as much of that $50,000 to use towards the next deal and the next deal. So we got to get a little creative, and that's what I've done, right? That's why we're going to be targeting expired listings, okay? This one, I think, is going to foot the bill, right? Because we need to find sellers that are getting desperate, all right? And this is going to be a desperate seller, in my opinion. 3856 West 23rd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This listing has expired. So this seller hired this agent to sell the property, the agent couldn't get the deal done. The deal expired two days ago. Okay, two days ago. Must have been a 60-day listing. This was also previously listed. That expired as well. So this is a seller who's like putting these agents, you know, feet to the fire. Like, yo, give me a seller. Or, I mean, sorry, give me a buyer. Give me a buyer. Give me a buyer. I want to sell. I want to sell, right? Okay, and this agent, he didn't get it done. 35500 is the price. I think that's too high. I think that's why the agent didn't get it done. And we're going to hope that uh, the seller, trying and failing, trying and failing again, is starting to get a little desperate, dog. Now, as far as the property goes, okay, it's just, uh, you know, an ugly beat to shit motherfucker, dude. Like, there ain't nothing fancy about this, right? You know, previous rental property, we got fucking grody carpet. And this right here, this is a clue that you could tell that the landlord was a cheap-ass some bitch. all right? Whenever you see a property where the trim and the wall color, you know, look at the door trim too, right? It's all the same. That is a big red flag that the landlord you're dealing with is just a cheap bastard, all right? That is the cheapest way you can possibly do it. So when we do this rental, right, because I have got $30,000 budgeted for this rental, Ryan, Ryan. We go in and we do this rental, dude. We're going to pull out this carpet. Good thing with these old Cleveland homes, though, they usually have nice hardwood floors under there. So we're going to, you know, refinish those hardwoods, put a nice thick coat of poly on it. Because, dude, this is D-class investing, right? We're in the Metro Health neighborhood. You love the Metro Health neighborhood. Why? Because I think it's a great play for appreciation, right? A billion dollars is getting invested into this neighborhood by Metro Health, right? This is called the Clark Fulton neighborhood, right? They're investing a billion bucks in the campus as well as the surrounding area doing some affordable housing, right? So that is the cherry on top, man. That is the pot at the end of the rainbow. Right now, though, it's a D-class neighborhood, similar to other D-class neighborhoods, right? But it's got that pot at the end of the rainbow. So I think if we're going to do D-class investing, this is the best neighborhood in the Cleveland market to do so, right? And what we need to do since it's D-class, we need to renovate this thing fucking nice, okay? So we're going to refinish off those hardwoods, put that poly coat down, and make sure 
that we don't keep going carpet. Because, dude, tenants in D-class neighborhoods, man, there's going to be dog piss, you know, kids spilling this, kids spilling that. Whenever we get turnovers, bro, that's just more cost. So we're going to do this $30,000 rental. We're going to do it right. We're going to harden this property, okay? So hardwood floors are key. Painting the trim a different color than the walls, man. Come on, let's give them something nice. This kitchen, we're going to spruce it up a little bit. Make it a little nicer. Kitchens and baths sell homes, right? This, I kind of like this tile job. We're probably going to be able to keep it. We'll probably just reglaze this. We'll probably put a nice new vinyl flooring in the uh, bathroom, which will match the one that we're going to put in the kitchen. All right, just another shot of a bedroom, right? Carpet's going to go. Walls are going to be agreeable gray. Trim will be white, and it'll just be looking rather nice. Here's a shot of the hot water tank. These typically cost $1,000 to replace. They last about 15 years. Now, we don't have all of the information on everything we're going to do. That's why I have a $30,000 budget for us, right? As far as the cosmetics go, what I've just told you, refinishing those hardwoods, making everything look good, agreeable gray paint, updates in the bath, updates in the kitchen. That's going to run us approximately $20,000. Then I've got another $10,000 for us in what I like to call the Aw Fuck Fund. Now, the Aw Fuck Fund is incredibly important because there are certain things about this particular property I don't know. It's an old son bitch, right? 1880. That's an old motherfucking house, right? But that you're going to get a lot of that. Uh, in this, uh, you know, in this type of neighborhood, in the Cleveland market, you're going to see that, right? So we got ten thousand dollars to 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 be used for things I don't necessarily know. What are we going to use it for? Possibly the roof. This is like a five to seven thousand dollar roof. Okay, I'm guessing that hot water tank is good. If it's not good, that's going to be a G. Furnace, I don't know what's going on with the furnace. If we need to do that, that's going to be $3,000, right? So we got about $10,000 to play with in our budget. I know we're going to put about 20 Gs cosmetically into this property, but then I've got us that $10,000 off fuck fund to just take care of the things that could pop up. Now, this video you're doing with me, this is step one of the due diligence process, brother. We're going to have the inspector go in, look this property over with a fine tooth comb, and that is where we can get an idea of what that ten thousand dollars is going to be used for do we have to spend the whole ten thousand dollars maybe maybe not possibly the house is in a condition where we would blow our ten thousand dollar off fuck fund and if that is the case what we're going to do we're going to go back to the seller we're going to try to renegotiate further are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So with all that in mind, I want to pick this thing up for you at 25,000, put in that 30, takes us to 55. If we do that, we're going to get a section 8 tenant in there paying 850 a month or 10,200 a year. Got to go section 8, brother. Again, you know the drill, dude, cuz it's D class right now. We got the pot at the end of the rainbow cuz I I'm hoping to see some appreciation cuz of the billion dollar investment, but dude, Let's not be crazy, right? Section 8 is key for these D-class neighborhoods, man, because the biggest risk, the biggest return killer is turnovers and evictions. If those happens, man, we're killing our cash flow for years. So we get tenants in there that have government-guaranteed rental income coming into us. That's what we want. Section 8 should pay 850 of that 850 I anticipate spending 369 to operate the property 481 being your monthly NOI. That's an average, Ryan. You know the drill, dog. That is an average, okay? It's not like we're literally doing a $42 repair every single month, right? It's going to be a whole bunch of zeros, right? We're going to spend 30 Gs putting this thing together. We're going to put a Section 8 tenant in there. And then we're probably going to have zeros for 12 months, 14 months, 18 months. I don't know. And then eventually the tenant will move out and then boom, $2,000 reno, $3,000 reno uh, to turn the thing over. Now, that two or $3,000 reno, that'd be fixing up the stuff the tenant did do it. That would be even higher if we didn't do things like harden it with those hardwoods and the, and the nice seal coat, right? If you have to replace carpet every time, you're going to keep increasing that, right? So, with all that said, brother, 
We all ended this deal at 55 G's. It's a 10 and a half cap just like that. But once we did all that work and then we spent that approximate $10,000 on those big ticket items that I'm not 100% sure which of those we'll have to do, I believe we'll be able to get it to appraise at 65. If we do that, the bank will loan you back 48,750, which means that will have been a 53% return on your money because you're going to end up with only 62 hundo into the deal, Ryan. That's why you've tasked me to find burrs. That's why you like this neighborhood. And I think we got a good shot of getting that seller to come down $10,000 because his sale expired, right? His realtor couldn't get the job done. He's thinking, oh, hell, I can't sell this house. We could come in. Boom, clean cash offer. You know, he could just, you know, want to wipe his hands with it. And that's a great deal. Win-win for you and for him, of course, right? Now, if he says no, if he's like, no, man, I really want 35, we'll just leave our offer out there, and then you and I, we will look to the next one, right? Because we're trying to do burrs, man. We are trying to get extreme value. We're trying to buy these properties at a price point that allows us to put in a big old rental and actually get it to appraise for more than we put into it. That doesn't happen every day. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Sometimes you run into sellers that are stuck on their price. Hopefully this is not the case, but if it is, you and I, brother, we are going to move on to the next deal because this is a numbers game. We are investors, guys. We have to analyze a lot of property. We have to look at a lot of property, and we have to buy the right property, right? We can't just go out there and buy any deal at any price. We got to do this in a way that makes money and that ryan is why you've gotten the 10 property package from me that's why i advocate everyone getting the big packages because it's going to take time it's a numbers game right you got to have a bunch of lines in the water so if you guys want to work with me like ryan again i recommend the big packages go to holtonwise.com click the property search for sale tab order a package of mls search and analysis shows today if you are a brand new viewer to Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless. From reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.